Is it that gives this woman in holy matrimony? I do. Dearly beloved, we have gathered here in the beauty of this park to join together this man and this woman in the holy bonds of wedlock. The union of husband and wife in heart, mind, and body is intended by God for their mutual joy and for the comfort and help given one another in times of prosperity and adversity. And if it be God's will for the procreation of children and the nurture and love of God. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was first ordained by God. Now, Felicia and Colton, I require and charge you both here in the presence of God that if either of you know any reason why you may not lawfully be joined together or in the word of God that you now confess it to me. Felicia, will you have this man to be your husband to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and remain faithful to him as long as you both shall live? And Colton, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Yes, sir, I will. And will all of you witnessing these promises do all within your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage. We will. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Colton, will you repeat to your bride this vow? In the name of God, I, Colton, take you, Felicia, to be my wife. In the name of God, I, Colton, take you, Felicia, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. For better, for worse, for richer, or for poorer, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until we are parted by death. To love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. And Felicia, will you repeat to Colton this vow? In the name of God, I, Felicia, take you, Colton, to be my husband. In the name of God, I, Felicia, take you, Colton, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. For better, for worse, 
rich or poor, sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until we are parted by death. To love and to cherish till we are parted by death. And this is my solemn vow. And this is my solemn vow. Aisha, will you give your maid of honor your flowers? Will we have the rings, please? Place the ring on your bride's finger. Felicia, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Felicia? I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Into the holy union of matrimony, Felicia and Colton have come to be joined. If there is anyone here who knows just cause why these two may not lawfully be joined together in marriage, speak now or forever hold your hands. Now that Colton and Felicia have given themselves to each other with solemn vows, joining together of hands, and the exchange of their wedding rings, I do now pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of God. God has put it together like no man for the sun. <laughs> Colton, you may kiss your bride. Felicia, you may kiss your groom. Thank you, sir. There you go. <laughs> Felicia, you want to take your flowers? Colton's arm. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you will want to join me in greeting Mr. and Mrs. Colton Shore. Sergeant Colton Shore of the United States Marine Corps. 